Mary Magdalene painted in place of the Apostle John. The absence of halos above the characters, prophecies about the end of the world and the existence of musical notes that would be hidden in the Last Supper, are just some of the elements at the center of controversies and conspiracy theories Renaissance painting by Leonardo da Vinci. In the years since American writer Dan Brown published the novel, The Da Vinci Code, much speculation has surfaced around the world. But the time has come to clear out this issue forever. There really is a hidden message in the painting, The Last Supper, painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Dan Brown's novel, published in 2003, stimulated the emergence of conspiracy theories that talk about an alternative relationship between Mary Magdalene and Jesus Christ. The book claims that the figure next to Jesus's right hand is actually Mary Magdalene, not the disciple John, as many have believed. Although Dan Brown's theories derive largely from older literary works, and the novel itself never claimed to be anything but a work of fiction, the frenzy of conspiracy theories has gripped both experts and amateurs. Experts from the Smithsonian Institution examined this work of art in a video, trying to determine whether the famous painting really hides inside it a secret message transmitted over the centuries by the Italian Renaissance master. In that video, Mario Taddei, a Milanese inventor and expert on Da Vinci's work, explained why he rejected Dan Brown's theory. Before Leonardo Da Vinci there were hundreds of The Last Supper paintings, and then when he painted his version he had to follow certain rules. Those rules require that the characters be painted in those positions and with those specific smiles, so that people can recognize the apostles, one by one. It must be understood that Da Vinci painted the Last Supper, in keeping with the tradition of describing that scene, in which the apostles have certain recognizable features. For example, according to the authors of the video, Saint Peter is always painted holding a dagger, Judas is recognized by the bag of money he carries on him, and Saint John is always painted as a young woman with a female figure. Like many other experts, Mario Taddei rejected the theories in the Da Vinci Code, is this John or Mary Magdalene? It is a very easy question, but it is also a stupid one, because it must be John. Because Leonardo copied the other versions of the painting, The Last Supper, made before him, in which John looks like a woman. Why are the characters in, The Last Supper, painted without halos? However, Mario Taddei does not reject the idea that the famous painting could contain a coded secret. He suggested that there might indeed be a secret message that was hidden by the Renaissance master in his work, but it all depends on how each person chooses to interpret the scene painted by Da Vinci. Mario Taddei explained that although many previous works illustrated the same scene, there is still a crucial difference. In each of the previous versions of the Savior's Last Supper, Jesus and his disciples were painted with halos and thus raised to the rank of saints. In Da Vinci's version, none of the subjects of the painting were adorned with angelic accessories. The viewer chooses whether to decide to give depth to Da Vinci's description of the 13 halo-free subjects, but Mario Taddei suggests that the omission was intentional and indicates that the famous artist thus made a true statement, which was 500 years ago at as controversial as Dan Brown's theories are today. I think Leonardo never painted halos because he considered those people to be ordinary people and this is Leonardo's real secret, explained Mario Taddei. There is no extraterrestrial or supernatural object in the Last Supper. Leonardo wants to tell us that the 13 men are just men and this detail is a much stronger thing. Prophecy about the end of the world in the Last Supper Other voices claim that this iconic canvas for Leonardo da Vinci is in fact a prophecy announcing the end of the world. Leonardo da Vinci predicted that the end of the world would come on November 1, 4006, according to a Vatican researcher. 
Sabrina Sforza Galizia states that the evidence underlying this theory is in the Last Supper mural. The window in the central part of the work, painted above Jesus and his disciples, presented before the crucifixion, contains a mathematical and astrological puzzle that it would have managed to decipher it. The researcher states that she understood that da Vinci predicted that the world would end after a universal flood, which would begin on March 21, 4006 and end on November 1 of the same year. Documents from the time show that the Renaissance master believed that that date would represent a new beginning for humanity, Sabrina Sforza Galizia explained. There really is a da Vinci code but it's not the one that was popularized by Dan Brown, said the Italian researcher. Sabrina Sforza Galizia, who previously studied da Vinci's manuscripts as a researcher at the University of California, Los Angeles, is currently working at the Vatican Archives. In 2009, the Vatican published one of her studies, entitled The Last Supper of Leonardo in the Vatican, in which the same researcher examined a tapestry after the Last Supper, made for King Louis XIII of France, which is inspired by the famous mural created by da Vinci in Milan. She says she is currently working on a follow-up to the study, which will explain and reveal da Vinci's code, which would involve zodiac signs and the use of the 24 letters of the Latin alphabet to represent the 24 hours of the of the day. Da Vinci would have seen the whole story of mankind, which would go to the sum of all things, to the last judgment, described in the Apocalypse of John, but also by ancient philosophers such as Plato and Aristotle, she explained for the daily Italian La Repubblica. Leonardo da Vinci was a scientist and a believer who lived in difficult times, and hid his messages, so as not to be attacked, added Sabrina Sforza Galizia.